Hello and welcome to another Applied Energy 62 tutorial. This is not the first video in the, for this mod, so if there are any items that I am not covering in this video, there is a link in the video description or several several links to other videos that might cover them. But in this video, I will first of all go through different cables, the glass cable covered cable, smart cable, and dense cable. I will then move along with the ME controller and networks using the ME controller. So that means working with channels and monitor them. So that's the last part, but we need to begin with the cables. The first cable, I have uh, built it before, but uh, it's the glass cable. This is the basic and standard that you will build most of, I guess. You can color it to pr prevent them from connecting to each other when you make your networks. And you can also th make a covered cable. Just cover it with wool and color it to a diff uh, with a different dye to uh, other colors, and they will uh, they work exactly the same. They can handle as many channels. Uh, we will come to channels in a little while, but they can manage eight channels. That means eight devices on the network. I've covered this before. And, uh, we have over here. We have four channels required. We have three chests and one terminal. That means that we are using half of the uh, capacity for the glass cable or covered cable. They have, are the same in that manner. The covered is just a... Uh, it just has a different texture. Moving on to the smart cable. You craft it with the covered cable and the, still we have the same capacity in the cable. Only eight devices can, can work when you're using the smart cable. But it's really convenient to use smart cables, especially when you are uh, creating larger networks, because you can use it to very sh clearly show um, where the different channels are used and where they go. Again, we will come to this in just a little while, but for debug purpose, it's the natural choice. But still, it's uh, the performance and capacity in terms of channels and, and devices. It, uh, they, it's the same as before. Moving on with the dense cable, Crafted with covered cables, with this gives us the dense cable. This can handle 32 channels. So these are what we use to, or you can call it the backbone of the, your network. So you have this, and then you connect all your peripherals or your your arms to to the dense cable. In this video, I will only use Fluix colored cables, as you can see here. All these are Fluix ca colored, and that means that they will connect to any color. And when you are using, well, for in this example, I have the blue one here. If you have blue dense and blue smart and blue covered, they will connect fine to each other but not to the pink. So use Fluix to start with and then extend them to, to different colors if you like. Before moving on, uh, we need to make sure that we are clear on what a channel is and what a device is. And to make this easier, we can use the network tool. Craft it with the calculation processor and then you have your tool and this 
is used to monitor the all the connected devices and items in the in the network in this small setup where we have a disk drive and a terminal we have this means that we have two devices the drive counts as a device and the crafting terminal counts as a device and you can have lots of cables and uh, the an energy cell is just a power input so this network is only two devices here we have four devices and you can use the network tool to make make it easier to count of course but uh, also check the energy usage since that would, could be um, an issue uh, a reason for a network not working okay now we feel ready to move, move along with the uh, me controller first of all you have some sky stones from where you found the meteorite to get the inscriber presses so that means that we have sky stone blocks and then we can craft the me controller basically one controller means one diamond and some other materials but now finally we have an me controller and a network the controller it will require power i have power connected directly beneath it beneath it but it's not required you can have it anywhere in the network as long as the me cable connects everything together every side on the controller emits 32 channels kind of exactly the same as the dense cable so but you don't have to use the dense cable it's just up to 32 channels so every side can connect 32 devices and a device is a bus it's a terminal it's a chest and lots most of the stuff that you connect to the network but not the controller itself this is not a device and cable is not a device and if you are using more than one ME controller to expand the network to have maybe you run out of sites or the layout in your network makes it impossible to continue you can use several ME controllers but they all have to be connected to each other you can't have one over here and one over here that won't work you have to connect them directly to each other and all ME controllers should be within a seven times seven times seven block or cube so quite quite a big cube so that shouldn't be a problem i guess it will require six ae per tick and as we can see here we have the me control here passive drain six a per tick and the chest is 1.5 but I'm using creative energy cell, so that's not a problem for me. Anyway, now we can look at the channels. Here I'm using the smart cable, and we can see that one line is lit. If I were to connect another path up here, we have it entirely black, nothing is connected up here, so no channel is drawn up here but in this direction there is so let's grab a few more chests because they make it uh, very easy to demonstrate exactly how the channels work if i place just one more we'll see one more line light up and one more and one more and now we are up to four channels and five and six and there are room for two more so now we have eight channels in this smart cable and let me just place these in okay every one of these chests contain 32 of something and now we can reach everything there let me just grab 
some cabling. Here we can see our eight chests with eight half stacks of something. Now over here I have the same. If I connect these two together, and just to be clear, I can use normal glass cable here as well. It works exactly the same. But over here I have sandstone and more glowstone or but I can't see it here. That's because our eight channels are already used and we can't connect anything else beyond this point. So let's use dense cable instead. Like that perhaps. And then we use our smart cable here and there. Now we have eight devices down here and eight devices up here. That's half of the dense cable capacity. And we can see that half of the lines are lit. So let's continue with the dense cable over here. And a smart cable. Now we have eight more channels connected. These eight chests. And here we can see four, eight, and 16 more. So now we have 24 and we have two more black lines here. And when I connect one last smart cable over there or glass cable still, they are the same, just makes it easier to see. Now the this dense cable and this ME controller output side is completely used. So we can't connect anything else on this, then it won't connect or something along the line will be disconnected. So that's easy and clear, I hope. We can see on this side, we have this device is on another side. So that's why it's working. We have only one channel here. So a total of 30 three devices on the same network but maximum of 32 on any side of the controller and before i will end this video i will just do a similar example just slightly slightly more realistic still unrealistic but but uh, just to demonstrate some of the things i've been going through so over here i have two ME controllers, they are red because I've connected them incorrectly. All controllers must be connected to each other. So I have the, the terminal is grayed out, I have power, but nothing, nothing works. So let me take an ME controller and remove the center one and connect that one. Now it works because we have all three ME controllers connected to each other within the 7x7x7 seven times seven times seven cube. And now we can see a lot of items. So of course I'm not nearly close to the capacity of this setup. We can have 32 for every side. So there are lots of devices we can connect. but. Over here we have just a chest and up here we have a chest and we have the two channels here and one going to each direction. And up here we have the furnace with export buses and import bus to just, just to uh, send cobblestone and coal to the furnace and extract smooth stone. And we can see every bus counts as a channel and we can see them sum up over here. And we have storage buses over here for our different chests. And these are the all the cards or some of the cards and we can see them over here. 
so everything is connected to each other and we can see what's over there and what's over there with the same with the same uh, terminal so now if if i were to take i don't have any stone so let's put in some cobblestone in the network and now the the export bus will start to fill the furnace and if we take some coal as well and just throw it into we can throw it anywhere we can throw it over here and we'll start to drain from this or we can place it here and they will end up in the furnace and the smooth stone will be created so just a simple example of devices and channels and buses and I will go more into buses in a separate video so but not in this one we have covered the channels with ME controllers how to monitor them how to track them or trace them using the network tool to monitor power usage and make it easier for us to count what is connected in this network and also how to craft and use the different cables so that's it for this video i Hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section and I will do my best to help you. So thanks for watching and goodbye.